Hey guys, it's Daryl. It's Wednesday. I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. I was actually watching uh, one of the crime channels and they were talking about dope and heroin and all that. And now, uh, I am not glorifying drugs. I want to talk about some that I, I, I totally forgot about. I've been cleaning this over for 13 years and uh, this went through my head a lot at the end when I was using. But I totally forgot about it until I just watched this show this morning. Here on the East Coast, we have uh, white tan powder heroin. We don't have black tar. Uh, the black tar is on the west side of the country. And, well, this is the way it was 13 years ago. I do not know how it is today. Um, and the powder, meaning that the heroin here comes from the opiate triangle over in uh, Burma, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh Southeast Asia, that area. That's where the heroin here comes from. Uh, the black tar comes from uh, Colombia, Mexico. So you see what I mean? There's two different routes there. Um, now, it occurred to me, it, uh, this was back uh, when I was using, was right around the World Trade Center. Uh, you know, I quit, I quit in 2006. The Trade Center was in 2001. And it occurred to me that my hair, this heroin that I was doing was coming from fucking Afghanistan. Fact. I mean, you, you can't, you know, back then it was, it was, you know, it, it was a known, it's a known fact. This, the heroin that was coming into New York was coming from there. Uh, and then you see the specials where this money goes. It was going to the fucking Taliban. There was no ISIS at that time. Uh, it was the Taliban and uh, Al Qaeda. That's where the fucking money was going. Every time I bought a bundle, $70 or whatever it was, 60 bucks, that money was fucked. Some of that money was going to the fucking people that blew up the World Trade Center. You know? And that was in the back of my fucking mind. I'm contributing. I'm contributing to our fucking enemy. I mean, you could, you could paint it or candy coat it any way you want. But that was the fucking bottom line, and I knew that in the back of my head. And that, that fucking bothered me. I had totally forgotten about this until I watched the video. I watched this, this show this morning, and I, I was like, holy shit, I, you know, I remember that. I don't know what, I don't know, you know, like I said, I've been out of the, out of the whole thing for 13 years. I don't know what's where now, and I, I love it that way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about pot and the dab, the dabs, the wax. That wasn't around 13 years ago. I don't know shit about that. Uh, I got, I, I smoked a vape, but I, I didn't put pot in it. I don't even know. I didn't even know that was possible. Um, yeah. Ecstasy, I think I remember the first time I did ecstasy. It was just a powder that, like, the, that was coming from chem, chem labs. Um, you know, I, things have changed a lot in the last uh, thirteen years. I've seen videos on YouTube here of uh, what's this drug called, uh, Salvia, Salvia, and that shit looks fucking scary as fuck. Uh, but anyway, getting off the subject. Yeah, so, uh, you know, and it, it's it's up to every person to uh, deal with their conscience. You know, the, the drugs that are showing up on the West Coast coming down from Colombia and all drugs. You know what? All drugs are paying for black market shit. That's the, you know what? That's the fucking bottom line. The cocaine is, is paying for death, human trafficking, murder, mayhem, probably child porn I, I don't know fucking you know but black black market money goes for black market goods you know what i mean and then who you know who the fuck knows too the businessmen regular fucking corporate money goes for fucking drugs too you know cuz you know, well let's let's face it drugs are fucking one of the biggest uh markets in this country in the world too so you know everything's dirty really if you get down to it but that was what I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, yeah, I it came to it was a it was a harsh realization on my conscience that, uh, and I, I had to buy I had to buy that shit every day. You know, I was addicted, so I you know I was daily I was contributing to fucking terrorists. You know, I mean in the I mean in in a roundabout way, but it's the truth, man. You know, you could like I said I I could candy coat it and my try to you know 
paint it any way I wanted in my mind to make it softer, but that's what that was the truth. Same shit with uh the stuff that's coming up from Mexico and Colombia now. It ain't going for children's schools, I don't think. I mean, hey, maybe some of it is, but uh the majority ain't going for fucking toys and bikes to buy toys and bicycles for orphans. Let me tell <laughs> let me tell you that. So it's just something to think about, man, for the people that occasionally buy buy drugs. Uh you know that money ain't going for for stuff that's good and and it's the you know the bottom line the the bottom consumer is where that fucking money call comes from you know the drugs come from high up and come all the way down to you the user and then the user the money goes all the way back up to the top um so i the truth is that you know the money that you pay for a fucking ounce of weed or whatever who knows who knows where it's going you know, but when you start talking about coke or or heroin, that money ain't going for fucking for uh, Christmas presents. <laughs> you know, just something to think about. All right, you guys have a great Wednesday. Rock and roll. Clean this over.